What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel and to the 10th largest pyramid in the world. What's up? Gently shake, so don't go like this. Before we get into today's episode, everyone, which is one of my favorites, we have filmed in a long time. You're about to see why. Stick around till the end, you're gonna enjoy this one. Uh, we wanted to make a couple announcements. First and foremost, we hit our first eight million view over on Instagram. It was a Reels post, it was actually today, and it happened when the cooler fell off of the back of Jay's boat, it was this Yeti. And the, they do float, and <laughs> we went back, we picked it up, and that short clip pulled in over 8 million views, netting over 3,000 new followers on our Instagram account. If you're not one of them, head on over there, drop a follow. We'd love to show you a little bit of content behind the scenes before you see these videos on YouTube. And second, golden tickets, man. Now is an opportunity, only really for the first 24 hours that this video is posted up. It is Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday. If you make any purchase on GuggenSquad.com, whether you just want some new swag, maybe a vest to go over your hoodies, a new raincoat, reflective, for those runs across the lake, or if you simply need to stock up on the number one bass catcher in the industry, that is right. If you just need some new bandito bugs, go ahead, head over to GuggenSquad.com. 20 folks are going to get a golden ticket with their purchases through Cyber Monday only. So it's only good through today or tomorrow, depending on when you're seeing this video. Maybe the opportunity's already passed you by, but the grand prize winner is going to get an opportunity to come out and fish with the Guggens and be featured in a Guggen Squad episode, as well as 19 other winners getting gift cards, cash, things of that nature, y'all. A lot to look forward to. Head on over to GuggenSquad.com and actually use code THANKS for the biggest discount all year. That is right, 20% off through Cyber Monday. Let's get into the episode. Starting route to Bass Pro Shops at the Pyramid. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel in Memphis, Tennessee, home of the 10th largest pyramid in the world. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. It's actually the country's largest bass pro shop. I'm looking at an observation deck right now. It's on like the 30th story. The thing is a monstrosity right over here overlooking the river. And in today's video, we're going to not only tour this place for our first time, but take y'all along with us. Hopefully end up purchasing some gear, uh, whether it's fly casting. We don't know. We just want to have a good old time in here. Maybe we get some hunting stuff. Who knows? I believe it has the largest selection of waterfowl and hunting equipment in the world. And hopefully we can grab some gear to take back to our local waters and take out and fish for you all as well in today's episode. But we will We'll see y'all inside. Okay, this is insane. The entryway is a monstrosity. This is so ridiculous. We got an old like bass boat over here just tucked away behind glass door. What do we got? <laughs> ridiculous. Safe to say I haven't caught one of those before. He almost looks like he's got neutral density filters for eyes. Welcome to paradise y'all. Check this out. Holy smokes, I'm seeing. Ooh. Look at all them troutsies. Oh my gosh, is that him? A true giant here at the tank. That is ridiculous. They even got boats in the water. Like, I think these are available for purchase. Oh. So that's the elevator that goes out to the observation deck. I can already tell I'm gonna get lost before I even find the fishing section. Four wheelers, would definitely love to grab a couple of these. They've got all the toys out here. What is in the uh, alligators? Dude, you would think this is the Fishing with Norm or Yak Pack channel out here with all these gators. I see the bass tank. Giant. We got a little gar action. What else we got in here? We got some pan fish. I guess the crappie just are living large and don't get eaten. I don't know. Looks like some carp. A giant cat. Dude, y'all gotta come check this place out just for the scenery. I gotta find the fishing gear though. Archery for camping. No fishing. We found it. Possibly the largest selection of rods I've seen in my life in one single store. Let's see, dude, they actually have a decent selection of Shimano's. So many places have just been like sold out because of uh, the whole virus deal. But they've, uh, okay, so they got some SLXs, got some Corrados, there's the DC. Handful of Daiwas, I done bought and sold mine. I still wanna test out that Luz Pro TI right there. I have not picked that thing up, and I want it. Let's see if we can find some baits now to throw in the local waters. What do we wanna, what do we even wanna do? I'd love to find some baits I don't throw all the time and showcase for you guys, so something new, right? This could be cool, showcasing like a bundle. Lizards and weights, perfect for Texas rigs. $6.99 for all that. Might. So far, I haven't found anything just totally crazy off the wall, but I have noticed there's some Bass Pro Shops baits right here. Oftentimes, when you're shopping for the store-bought brand, you can get a little bit of a deal. So I'm thinking maybe taking a look at some of these worms and throwing an off-the-wall color I haven't thrown before. I kind of like the idea of this guy right here. This color is called Sweet Potato Pie. 
I feel like it's just a no-brainer. I have to get these. They're six-inch sweet potato pie. I think we're gonna throw some of these Senkos. We're definitely tossing this in the cart. Speaking of, I didn't have one. Let's grab this bad boy right here and get us a few more. I don't know where Devin went. What else we got around here? Look, y'all, we found Devin. <laughs> Babe, I picked us out some sweet potato pie worms. They're the uh, Bass Pro Shops brand, so I figured maybe we could catch some fish with Jay this weekend okay, or something. Okay. What do you think we should toss in the basket? Something different is what I was going for uh, than we normally I'm gonna throw. have to do some digging. I don't know. I, I've literally just walked to the section and I'm lost. <laughs> I'm just lost. All right, y'all know I just got my BFS reel and rod and I'm kind of obsessed with throwing some finesse style baits. What's really freaking cool is that the bandito bugs are one of my most favorite and most confident baits but now you can get them in the junior size. It's a little 3.3 inch. And I definitely have to get these for the BFS reel, tossing these in the basket. And not only is it the junior, it's in my favorite color, the green pumpkin purple, perfect for Ned heads on that BFS rod and reel. <laughs> it's almost like every end cap on the aisles is loaded with Guggen. So sick, you guys, front and center. Uh-oh, her other favorite swim bait, confidence bait, dark sleeper. <laughs> oh, because you can't get these in any stores next to us. Like Dick Shields, Bass Pro Shop next to us doesn't have any of these like in this size. Look at this, this is a one ounce. I've never even thrown a one ounce. Yeah, so we like the heavier sizes on the dark sleepers. That way you can either fish them quick up closer to the surface or you can get them to drop down and fish them deep. They're just so versatile. And so, uh, yeah, I think we're about to stock up on another dark sleeper or two. But this is my favorite color, and I always forget the name of it. It's uh, Shirao, I think. It's S-H-I-R-A-U-O. It's, like it's like a clear shad with a little chartreuse strip, like very subtle. This thing right here will get them. But like I say, half ounce, three quarter ounce, that's what we normally like to throw with the dark sleeper. I haven't thrown this color. I kind of want to change it up. Uh oh, y'all, they got the snips. Oh my gosh favorite tool in bass fishing so sick you just clip it onto you extendable cuts through braid fluoro literally like favorite tool in my tackle box we did it we found the fly section check it out <laughs> what is this combo this must be their specialty or something oh is this that reddington brand oh that'll that'll happen nine foot five weight four piece oh they're charging top dollar for the fluger one out here i thought i got that for 40 bucks what else they got $120 for this thing right here? Can't be right. That doesn't doesn't look good. This one I would try. If you guys recommend we break out the Nighthawk combo by Fenwick, I have contemplated it. And this is actually the Orvis. This is the entry-level Orvis encounter. How sick is that? 169 bucks. I actually genuinely want to test that out because it was rated as one of the best fly fishing combos for under 200 bucks. I might grab a couple flies here to go with the casting tackle. And that might even do it for the fishing stuff. We just wanted to grab a few things to throw here. Whoa, look at this. I'm getting sidetracked already, but I haven't picked out any flies for us in our new endeavor of fly fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek, pick out a few. This one automatically caught my attention. This is cool. Oh, you have special, like you get your own little special, uh, shopping cart with flies. That's wicked, that's a smaller dragonfly, yep. Let me go ahead and pay $2 for a little piece of felt and a baby hook. <laughs> what? What? That's insane. Like, yeah, see, the, the buck 99. <laughs> they did say fly fishing was expensive. All right, I'm gonna pick one more. Dustin said there was crazy stuff over here, so I'm taking a look. Oh man, look at these little poppers. That's insane. That guy is definitely worth getting, for sure. I feel like you could go crazy with something like this in salt water. Is that a frog? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. I killed him. I don't get these things. $2. This frog is $8? That's more than my, my dog's <laughs> I don't think I can afford fly fishing. Where's the budget flies? Look, see, these are like two bucks. Is this like a jig? I feel like it could be. Look. That is cool. That is wicked. It sits up for the hook to be exposed. No way. Someone sign us up for an eight weight rod, please. We need hook sets now. <laughs> okay, baby, we're, we're burning through this. We're burning through the budget here. You, you, she's picked out way too many flies. I think we got $50 worth of flies. We're gonna toss that in the basket and see if there's anything else we need before we wrap things up. But hey, on a serious note, I've been seeing all the stuff to hand tie your own flies. And I know, of course, there's a lot of tools you need aside from just the feathers and the deer hair or whatever it all is, but let us know if you would like to see us try and make some of our own flies. Weird spot for a column, but it's here. And try and catch a fish on our own hand-tied flies. 
and maybe even like what the best flies would be to try and make starting off. Keep it simple for us, please. So we kind of wanted to go up to the observation deck, but it sounds like you got to get tickets and we're already putting ourselves way behind schedule. Probably going to get back to Dallas at like 12 midnight and we got to drive to Austin tomorrow morning. So we're going to wrap things up, but I want to show you guys a little bit more of the place. And apparently you get kicked out if you try and film from the observation deck anyways. It's happened in the past, I heard from an associate. So there's that. Uh, Devin has now found the Black Rifle coffee, so we're probably going to go out of here broke. Fit fuel. Fit fuel. <laughs> <laughs> I can dig it. <laughs> it it's funny. This is unlike, unlike a motivational gym quote, this high caffeine blend will actually kickstart your workout. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, how kicked out would I be if I fished for these right now? If I just went and grabbed a combo off the wall, threw a bait on? You think I'd be kicked out? I feel like that's like small compared to a lot of them though, right? I don't know. I mean, that's that's a big fish. That thing's taller than me. That was way bigger than that one. That one is much bigger. Seven feet long. <laughs> so I was just pointing these out and Devin's like, yeah, those are hotel rooms. You can stay here. So I didn't know you could stay here. That's really? crazy. The only five star in the city, Memphis, she said. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got to get on the road. We got to wrap this thing up. But before we do, I can't leave without showing y'all the waterfowl section because apparently it has the biggest selection in the world. This is not a joke. The biggest selection in the world. This place is huge. Absolutely huge. Starting to feel like I'm watching a Flare or Mendak vlog. Ducks Unlimited Museum. This is really cool. Yeah, as stated, I do not know what I'm looking at, but apparently a lot of money. These don't look real. You mean to tell me y'all tricked the real thing? For 200 bucks, I hope you do. Somebody's gotta take me out hunting so I can get a feel for all this. All I know is if you need some camo, you know where to shop. I don't know if that's a hunting blind or an ice fishing cabin, but I'm gonna go with the first one. Here we go, see the camping section. Now this is something we need to do a little bit more. This looks like the Louis Vuitton of camping luggage right here. Are people really taking the stuff out with them? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, too bad Devin didn't come up here with me because she would definitely say we gotta buy this. We have been looking into the Traegers, y'all. Definitely gotta purchase. That's on the list for real. We're purchasing one of those very soon. Well, that has been Bass Pro Shops at the Pyramid. Insane. We're gonna go ahead and make our way back to Dallas and we're gonna catch you guys here in just a second on the water with some of these baits. We'll see you there. Shape. Fish Boston! <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, we made it down to Austin, Texas and we have got a lot of the baits from Bass Pro tied on. We're going to give some tips and tricks here throughout today's video as we fish Lake Travis with our buddy Jason. You've seen him in videos before. It is at J Gone Fishing. He done just flew the Mavic 2 Pro and got some sick footy for y'all over on his channel. You're going to have to go check it out. Links down in the description. But all I wanted to say is this. We're about to get out and try and uh, catch us a handful. Uh, we're, we're really risking it right now. It's 45 degrees. These fish, they might just be sleeping down in the depths uh, where it's a little warmer. Who knows? Who knows? But we're going to see if we can wake them up with some whop plop and buzz bait and action out here. And I forgot to strap down the rods. <laughs> First run, shoo! They're all gone. Do you have a lot of issues with your trolling motor? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the like all, all the, the time. time? All the time. We've had a bunch of issues with ours. LFG's always having issues with his. I don't even use my... Anymore. Your foot just control? You just use the remote? Yeah. Technology, dude. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't wear flip flops. It's a little chilly. I think if the sun comes up, it'll get a little. Oh, he's on. He's on cranking. Uh, you want to throw? Are you okay? You want to throw around this little uh, goby deal? Uh, no, I'm gonna stick with this for a second. All right, toss some in the live well, top five. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Jay put us on a nice little honey hole. He's already got one in the boat. This is ridiculous. I would call this kind of like a bass pattern, but it's also got like some teal and orange in here, yeah. almost like an Instagram filter. This little baby lure, and then there you go. 
not much bigger than that is the uh, the first one in the boat. <laughs> Jay gone wild. Yep. Jerk bait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when it was sitting, sitting. Yeah, you might have to. Look at that. Hey, hey, that's that's is that a? Uh, that's a different one, huh? That's like yeah, a, a a quad. A quad. Yeah. That might be one of your first ones, honestly. Yeah, oh, it might. Nope, head. definitely not on. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he's so warm. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Feeling real toasty. Devin's on with the jerk bait. That's awesome. Oh gosh, don't grab the trebles. <laughs> Mistakes were made that morning. <laughs> I wanna rock. I think I'm gonna title it visiting the 10th largest pyramid in the world because that's what it like, oh, yeah. that's what it is. But, like and I flew the drone. Yeah, I don't think he's supposed to. <laughs> I was getting all these alerts. <laughs> He's like, do you accept responsibility for this flight? Yes. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, but that thing, we like, we are in the bonus round with this thing. Like, I've crashed it into trees. Like, it doesn't want to take off half the time. It has lived a life and gotten the footy. <laughs> Nobody wants a dark sleeper. Yeah, the dark sleeper is really tough to get bit out here. Why do you say that? I've thrown it. Really? It's. Should be easy pickings. What about a lunker log? <laughs> yeah. or, or I mean, what about a Sanko? Yeah, Sanko would work. All right, I'm gonna do that. Weightless or should I go with the weight? I did both. Uh, maybe just a little bit of a weight just to help it get down. Okay, I did a quarter, so that's probably. Jay told us come prepared with the Texas rig as well. He knows the waters out here. By the way, he guides on Lake Travis, Lake Austin. Do, you guide like pretty much any of the lakes out here, right? Yeah. It, we'll update you with that in just a moment on the big camera. But he he's gonna put you on some fish if y'all want to catch some fish down here. I am rigging up though. The tournament series, stick o worm, sweet potato pie, baby. Hey, you ever thrown sweet potato pie? I've eaten sweet potato pie. Check that out. That looks good. Uh, I don't know if it looks good or not, but it, I hope, <laughs> hopefully it'll do something. <laughs> I have no confidence in it. That's why I grabbed it. You always got to try new stuff, man. Y'all got to try some new colors, new baits, and uh, see what you like. I think that Ned, Ned rig right there. Oh, is that a bass? Crappy. Crappy. Oh wow, I think I just got hit as I was reeling it in. I was working it slow, then I'm like, okay, I worked past the prime spot. Of course, when you start reeling, that's when you catch a big one. That just happened to me on top water the other day. Dude, I was bringing in the popper. Mm -hmm. I was popping it, popping it, popping it, right in the strike zone. And then I start just burning it across the surface, <laughs> and I got like a six pounder. Oh. I got a six pounder as I was burning it like a, like a whopper plopper. Oh <laughs> there we go. He's on. All right, they're loving the little oh, shad color jerk baits, and then we got one on the worm. Okay, come on, Bass Pro. This is the biggest one in the morning right here. I don't think it's anything to write home about, but at least it's got a little something-something. <laughs> Jay, yeah. woo, putting us on, boy. Double up. Okay, here we go. See? I just tied this leader. <laughs> Pray for my, my double uni knot, y'all. <laughs> oh, easy does it, killer. Hey. Sweet potato hey. pie. Sweet it done it. <laughs> Woo! Story time? Is it story time? Oh, <laughs> hey, let's go! Woo! There we go, y'all. First double up, hopefully of many today. And uh, we've only got a couple hours to fish. Jay putting us on already. Sweet potato pie doing work with the biggins. And then it looks like the moving baits are catching numbers. Let's get these folks back in the water. Cheers, Jay. Appreciate you. Hey, yeah, man. Sweet potato pie. Ooh, oh, ooh, I hear that drag. I hear, I hear, I hear the B, the new BFS. Come on. Where's the second wind? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice crappie. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's is that your second catch now on that BFS reel? Uh -huh. That's her new SLX BFS, y'all. Imported from Japan. Where did I try? I tried to order it from a lot of places. A lot of reels are sold out, dude, right now. Devin's throwing a uh, micro recon, like the little guy on the uh, new SLX BFS. She's throwing it on the Twitch rod, by the way, so it's just a whole finesse setup. That bait is so light, but that reel just flings it. She's throwing like eight pound line, I think. Um, some people even shit on you when you say I'm throwing eight pound line on a BFS reel. Dude, you should be throwing like three pound test on that. That's BFS. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb, dude. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you should be throwing only the lightest. That's not BFS. Burning the sweet potato pie. These bass like you feeding us pie for breakfast, man. We want those breakfast tacos y'all eating up there on the boat. Should have got hot dogs to go with the sweet potato pie for them catfish down there. Oh no, I was getting my nibbles. Was getting my nibbles. 
try something different for a second so they've been chasing but not committing so you give it a little pause on the jerk bait right you're not gonna like just yeah. work it real right quick I hit, it was definitely on a longer pause yeah okay like i think i cast it out and i might have like popped it like once and then i was adjusting something yep oh oh <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> she catches another guadalupe bay bass y'all those are like kind of exclusive to southern texas or just like well i've caught central, a yeah. central texas okay so she's over here catching the texas state fish and that is on the bass pro pyramid green pumpkin purple junior size bandito bugs y'all could you believe it i can't you changed his life when you set that hook too <laughs> he's like oh sh that was the wrong move he's gonna put me in that water this is cold out here right <laughs> that's funny the water temp's about 73 and it's 45 out here so he's like this is uh like the arctic as soon as you pull him out of the water nice yeah, well thank you jay this is dope oh, dude <laughs> jay's on again yeah, it's, a giant crappie. it's a that's a crappie Oh, oh what on earth God. dude what are you doing out here <laughs> oh devin do you have a bite no, nope in uh, the grass okay <laughs> freaking slap freaking tank i'm trying to catch the lake record crappie this year which is 1.43 1.43 that doesn't sound right <laughs> we've caught we've caught two pound crappie in ponds i know <laughs> i'm like how's jay getting all these hits I guess it's just extra flashy because I'm throwing, this one's got a nice looking belly. Sweet potato pie. What do they think this is? Look at that. That color is so weird. Like, <laughs> That's know. like, oh I would never throw this. I, this is like it, <laughs> I would never yeah. grab this off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all been eating all this new weed growing in the lake. <laughs> they had this worm. It was like a sweet. I might have another sip of that coffee. I think it's about gone. Huh? Just in case. I got the camera. Grab that net. Y'all, Jay's hooked up with uh, a decent fish here. I saw him come out of the hydrilla and just blast it. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, fish. my gosh. You ready now? Oh, Watch that right Oh goodness! <laughs> yes. Oh yes, sir! <laughs> it's a hydrilla gorilla, baby. <laughs> oh, what a fatty! That's so sick, dude. <laughs> All right, y'all, so there you have it. It's already been a fantastic morning, so I figured I'd let Jay uh, take it away, tell you a little bit what he's got going on down here in Austin, Texas, because he's one of the best guides in the city, bros. You gotta get down here and fish with him. So guys, if you guys wanna come down and visit Austin, I actually have an Airbnb as well, so if you wanna do a guide trip and stay at a place, I'll get a discounted rate for you guys, but if you guys are in the area and wanna go fishing, hit me up, shoot me a DM, at Fishing on Instagram and I'll get you guys out here. I'll show you some techniques we're throwing to catch these fish right now. It's a good moving bite. We're throwing jerk baits and crank baits, but uh, as you saw earlier, Weston's catching them on the Senko, so they're fueling up for the fall. So hit me up, I'll get you guys out, and we'll catch some fish. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a flick up. What a day, y'all. This one started for us in Nashville, Tennessee. Maybe not for Jay out here down south. I wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys do enjoy it. We stopped out there in Memphis, got to see the uh, 10th largest pyramid in the world. That's right, we stopped in Bass Pro Shops, did some shopping for y'all, and caught them on the baits today. I tried to give the fly a shot, dude, but I just, I think you need to come back in a couple weeks, and we'll get you back on some big bass on the fly. That's a deal. So, <laughs> drop a like for this one, y'all. We definitely want to get back out here, do some more fly fishing with Jay, but as well as just traditional casting. Hopefully throw some big baits around with them sometime soon. Just one more shout out to Jay. Thanks for taking us out on Dr. Sparkles. We just got yes, her cleaned sir. up. In fact, I'm gonna buff out those fingerprints right there. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.